I'm going to show you how to actually color correct and color grade Apple log footage in DaVinci Resolve. Now, obviously there's a bunch of different ways you can approach the coloring process, but today I'm going to show you what I think are the two best ways to get the most out of your Apple log footage. Okay, so the first way is a little bit more advanced. And I personally think that this is the best route to color grade any type of iPhone footage. So with that said, come down here to the right hand side where this little cog is. These are my color space and transform settings. I'm gonna come over here to the left hand side and go under my gallery and under my power grades, I have a iPhone log power grade. This power grade is linked down in the description. And when you download it, all you have to do is come over here to the left hand side where you have power grades. If you don't have power grades, right click and add a power grade album. Once you've done that, right click in the album and select import. All you have to do is select the power grade and it will show up in your power grade album. You can either middle mouse click or right click on it and select append grade. And the reason I think this is the better route to go as far as color correcting the footage is just because you have a tremendous amount of flexibility when it comes to color correction and color grading. So this may look advanced to some of you, but it really isn't. Essentially what we're doing is we're taking the log image and we're transforming it into DaVinci Wide Gamut. Here, we are doing all of our adjustments within DaVinci Wide Gamut, and then we're outputting to Rec. 709, which is the final image that everybody's gonna see on the internet. So a quick run through, this is noise reduction if you need to do noise reduction. These are your main adjustments for the clip. These are your secondary and power window nodes, a sharpening node, a CST to transform the DaVinci Wide Gamut, and then a creative node on the end. Which by the way, I released an iPhone cinematic LUT pack, which you can also get down in the description. And this works on all types of footage, which I will show you a little bit later. All right, so back to the node tree. These four nodes is where you're going to do most of the heavy lifting. So as far as this particular image goes, I'm going to do the balance node first. I'm gonna come down here to the primaries and just select a neutral color. Find a neutral color in your shot, something gray or white, so that way your white balance is as accurate as possible. If you need to adjust exposure, you can do so on this node. You can either do it under the primary wheels here, or you can go to the HDR tab and pull the exposure up like this or drop it down. I'm gonna leave exposure where it's at because I nailed exposure in the Blackmagic camera app. With the contrast node selected, you can go to your primary color wheels and add contrast right here, or you can go to the HDR tab and add contrast down here. The contrast, work differently. So play around with it and feel it out. Now, as far as saturation goes, that's this node right here. What I like to do is look at the vector scope and see where my saturation sits. Now you can either add saturation here in the HDR tab by sliding this little saturator slider up right here, or you can do it in the primary color wheels by pulling up the saturation here. But again, it really comes down to what you personally like best. So if I were to make these adjustments real quick, I would come here and just turn up the contrast a little bit and pull the saturation up a little bit. Color correction and color grading should be a surgical process. So any tiny adjustments that you make will make a big deal with the final result. So once you've done about 80 to 90% of the work, you could actually consider that done or you can add a creative LUT on the end. You could add one of my creative LUTs for my LUT pack. So once you've added it, you can go back to your waveform and see where everything is sitting. You can turn it on and off. And if you feel like it's too strong, you can always go to the key output right here and turn this down I usually turn it down to 0.5 and then go back and make more adjustments on these main four nodes. Now you may be asking yourself, how does this apply to a real world situation where you're maybe out and about filming and you don't have a controlled environment to film in? Here I have a shot that is not in the studio. I'm gonna apply my power grade again. And as you can see, this image still looks like it needs a little bit more work. So as far as the balance goes, I'm going to go to my primary colors, select the white balance, pick the snow. It cools down the image just a little bit. Then under contrast, I'm going to turn up the contrast and really start to stretch the image and get it popping, so to speak. And I like to play around with the pivot. So sometimes if I want the image to look a little bit brighter, I will do so like that. And as far as saturation goes, sometimes I leave saturation just where it's at because when you add contrast, you actually add saturation. So quickly, I'm gonna click on the power window node, come down here to the windows and add a circular power window. I'm gonna open it up and fade it out a little bit and invert it, and then come down and pull this down to create a little bit of a vignette around our shot here. Before, after, awesome. All right, so now let's reset all these nodes. I'm gonna show you the easy way. 
add three nodes. Come up here to my LUT pack and add the log to Rec 709 LUT. Now I prefer to make all my adjustments before this conversion LUT. So anything you do before that conversion LUT, you will actually be doing the adjustments in the Apple log space. You can tell a huge difference in between working like this and using my power grade. So I'm gonna add some contrast here. I'm gonna look at my waveform. I like to jump back between my waveform and my vector scope. I'm actually gonna add a little bit more contrast and I'm going to select the white balance, of course, on the first node here, just doing some quick adjustments. And I'm gonna actually pull this up and pull this down a little bit to get it about 80% there. Then on the last node, I'm going to add a creative LUT look. So this is without the LUT, with the LUT, without the LUT, with the LUT, without the grade, with the grade. That is how to actually color grade Apple log footage. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video.